Now, a little bit of work I've been doing. Um, lightweight code instrumentation. So imagine that you've got a 100,000 line code base, maybe a web app application, and it's using a lot of network services behind the scenes with logging, databases, whatever. And when your web service gets slow, you don't know which of those network services are contributing to the slowness. So, I wrote this bit of code, uh, dash profile, and you can just, um, this is a bit of configuration where you can create some profile ob ob objects. There are various modules with various in interfaces. I'm showing you the one where you, you give names to things. And then in your code, so this is some network IO module, you add one line to import a profiler, and you give it a context for this particular file, for example, this particular area of, of your code. And then in your functions, you just add one line. And that one line, actually, that foo profiler being imported should really be XSYS profiler. That one line is all you need to implement the code. And what the importer does is it imports a pre curried profiler that is extremely efficient at um, generating you, returning you an object that captures what the profiler is, but also the time that you created the object. And then all you have to do to finish the sample is just let the object destroy itself, let it fall out of scope. And so you get a time measurement from the point that you call the profiler to the point that the profile object it returned goes out of scope. So basically that's the amount of code that you need to write to instrument your I.O. Now, hello. Okay, maybe I need to press the key. There we go. This is an example at output where the uh, guilty parties have been commented out. So you can see here this is a, a bit of data um, produced by the dash profiler. The, each one of those colored lines is a network service, and the gray one is the profile that can give you the time that it didn't spend, list, um, that it didn't assign to any other service within a period. So that's giving you the time spent in your web service code that wasn't spent waiting for external services. Okay. Um, basically, it can do a lot of sexy stuff. One last thing I do need to say is it's important because it's running in a production environment that it's very cheap. So every sample that it takes, and it has to take, to take a lot of them if, for example, you want to fetch every, if you want a sample for every uh, database row fetched, because you have to wait for your database rows, 17 microseconds. And there's a lot of functionality behind the scenes here that you can tap into, but it's so cheap, you can sprinkle it liberally throughout your application. <laughs>